Is it important that um, you're the first black Miss South Africa, and and in what way is it important? Well, what is happening in our country right now um, needs someone who has experience and who lives with. who has experience of living with people of different cultures and um, and who has experienced a life in the township where the violence is happening right now and who has knows how to deal with people. Right now we need in South Africa who has experienced everything, has a lot of experience. And I think me, especially as a black person from the township, I know exactly what what is happening and and I've also lived with people from different culture and different races so I think um, it, that that was a very that's very important it really is it's good not to have a white South Africa no South no, Africa. no no I'm not saying that I'm saying for me as an advantage I'm from uh, I'm from the township I grew up in the township and I've experienced a life in the township I've also experienced life outside the township I've lived at in a boarding school where I shared everything with people from different cultures and all that and and I think for me that is my big advantage that I have. Um, three years ago, in 91, the, the last white Miss South Africa said blacks couldn't become mixed Miss South Africa because they all get pregnant with 15. Why do you think you won nevertheless? Why do I think? Why do you think it was possible for you to win then? <laughs> well, <laughs> firstly, it's not true that black people get pregnant at 15 years old. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. I haven't had a child. Um, it's because I worked hard. I worked hard for this. I just didn't get it um, easily. I worked very hard. How are you going to get the Miss World title for South Africa for yourself? And how do you plan to work at that? Like I worked for Miss SA, I worked very hard. I had a lot of coaching I had. I prepared well for it. I can do the same thing for the Miss World title. I'll just do my best. Your hair's very straight. <laughs> <laughs> How do you manage that? <laughs> First of all, just uh, take care of it. <laughs> First of all, last night you said you're going to try by all means to stop the violence. Can you just tell us, how are you going to, to stop the violence? Firstly, um, to start with, on the, on the grassroots level, I know I've mentioned the fact that I've stayed with people from different cultures and, and I believe that in our country we need to learn to understand one another, another. We need to learn where we come from, what we're all made out of to understand each other. We need to find a common ground to work on. And I plan to use myself to teach other people how to bring themselves out and teach other people th about themselves and be prepared of learning about other people. And also I'll, I'll be working very closely with the Peace Accord. In what way? In all ways. Specifically? Um, right now we have a big problem with the violence. Okay. And I plan to go out there and teach people, spread the word of peace 
And like I say, I'll say this again because it's the most important thing. Teach people how to understand each other, how to learn from each other and live with one another. It's possible. <coughs> if the political leaders can't do it, what makes you think you can succeed? I believe that they mm, Do you think that the they stuck it up with political rhetoric? And you're going to come along and get the I, I plan to deal with it from, from the grassroots on the with the basics. I'm not going out there to be on top of the world and spread and just preach the people. I plan to take it from ground level to understand one another, mm -hmm. you know, to talk to each other and learn from each other, which I think most people are missing. But a lot of these peace accord guys have come under attack from the time. I'm, oh yes, that's true. That's what I'm saying. It, 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 it is a risk, but I'm prepared to take it. I really am. Was this title a lifelong dream, or did you enter for fun, no. or how <laughs> seriously did you take it? I, I took it very seriously. It took me two weeks to just enter. Um, at first I thought, Jackie, why not just enter? You know? And I thought, no, it's a very serious, and if I had to happen to win, I'd, I'd have so much responsibility on my shoulders. And it took me two weeks to enter, and I thought about it. And I also, in, in preparing for it, when I got into the semi-finals, after that, I prepared, I worked hard, and I knew if I, I, had, I had to win, I'd have, I'd have to be a strong person and be very responsible. It's something very serious. It's nothing that you can take as a joke or as a beauty title, especially now. Does this mean now you're going to abandon your BCom and go for no, the no, 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 <laughs> no. How are you going to complete your BCom? Um, I have what to are you your third year now? I'm second year this year. Second year, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have to stop studying for a year, and then after that I'll continue. I have to finish my degree. Unless you win, unless you win Miss World. No, no, no. I still will continue my degree. Even if, even if I win the Miss World, I'll still continue. But this is, you're actually going to have to stop studying for two years. Because you're halfway through one year now, and then you're going to be halfway through. Um, well, yes, <laughs> but I'll still continue. I won't stop until I get my degree. Do you think you won because you were black? No, I don't think so. I worked very hard, like I said. I worked so hard um, within the three weeks we were together with the final, finalists. And I know a lot of people will say that I've won the Miss SA contest, especially now, because I'm black. But I am here to prove that I ca I'm capable of doing the job. I have all the qualities. I really am. What qualities are they? I'm a strong person, strong world. I always finish what I start. Um, I People can relate to me very easily. I can talk to people very, very easily, and I'm a kind person, which what which is what matters the most. Are you going in for politics after this? <laughs> from the London Times. And you? It's a BC TV. When is this going out? Tonight? What time? Seven for Susan Dulu and eight for. Oh, okay, not seven, obviously. <laughs> it's on Carte Blanche. Is that yeah. what you're going to say? Yeah. Okay, so only eight o'clock. We've got some about this. Okay, eight o'clock only. Yes, uh, sir. Yeah. So okay, so we'll abandon the. <laughs> we'll do that. I will now, yes.